this week, the, the sixth graders went to Camp Marcesta. Some of the activities that they do in there was hiking, obstacles, learn new facts, and spend time with their friends. In my opinion, the sixth grade camp was one of the best field trips I ever had. This is because I make new friends, I spend time with my friends, and I eat really good food. So I really hope all the sixth graders enjoy the, enjoy the camp. And bye, guys. See you later. Hi K leaders, pleased to see you guys after two weeks. Today we will be talking about Red River Week. Red River Week is an alcohol, tobacco, smoking, and other dangerous drugs and violence prevention. Advocates talk about this week, which is celebrated annually in October in the U.S., followed by many other schools. It is an honor to the fallen DEA Special and Agent Enrique Camarena in 1985. It is to spread awareness to multiple people who have struggled or lost someone due to drugs. That's why we have Red River Week. Bye K leaders. Hello, K leaders. Do you know what today is? Today is the fall festival. There's gonna be snacks and games. Um, some snacks are snow cones. That's my favorite. Popcorn, hot dogs, and much more. Um, don't forget, William. There's gonna be trunk or treat. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a trunk or treats that are gonna be hosted by teachers. If you uh, don't know what a trunk or treat is, is where um uh, cars, uh, trunks will be open. There'll be candy, and then students and teachers or parents can get um photos and get candy. That's it, everyone. I'll see you see at the, the festival. festival. Hey, Carolias. As you know, this week we'll be doing Spirit Week in order to celebrate Ribbon Week. Monday is Hawaiian Day. Tuesday is Pajama Day. Wednesday is anything but a backpack, so you could bring anything but a backpack. Thursday is Mini Day, so you could paint your face or you could wear yellow and blue. Friday is Flip-Flop Day, so a student could dress up like a teacher and a teacher could dress up as, as a student. But that's it. Bye, Kay leaders. Upon a time, there was a kid named Xander who was bullied daily by older kids named Daniel, Fernando, and Jeremiah. But Xavier had something special, a doll that seemed to hold a dark secret. One awkward day, around a thousand years ago, the bully snatched the doll from Xavier's hand and threw it across the street. The car screeched to a stop, but it was too late as the, doll, as the doll's face lit up evilly. The moment it was run over, something sinister happened. The doll's eyes glowed bloodshot red. And a chilling whisper echoed through the air, an unnatural sound that sent shivers down Xavier's spine. No! Xavier screamed. What have you done? He said to the bullies. The bullies just smiled. Their laughs were very loud. Let's leave this loser and his creepy doll, they said, walking away, oblivious to the darkness that was going to happen. That night, in the silence of his room, Xavier was bursted awake by a voice, smooth yet twisted. We need to seek revenge, the doll whispered. It's, it's eyes burning with desire for revenge. Xavier's heart raced, but, but a, a, calm, a calm washed over him. He felt a weird connection with the doll. The next day, the sun set. The doll released its anger. It leapt from Xavier's grasp, eyes blazing, and a, in a blur of motion, it attacked the bullies. They didn't stand a chance. One by one, Daniel, Fernando, and Jeremiah fell. Their screams ended by the night as the last breath escaped from their lips, their bodies twisted and dead, merging with the doll, forever trapped as part of its evil army. With part of its lifeless wrist, the doll summoned its doll army. It wasn't just revenge, it was thirst for revenge. Soon the whole world fell to the whisper of the doll, each one turning on its former owner. An army of cursed dolls now ruled the earth, conquering hearts and minds, their laughter echoing in the darkness to this day. The, the end. end.